Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about the Saw franchise. I went to go see the new film Jigsaw this week and I enjoyed it and I've been meaning to make this video for a couple days now. I just didn't know how I was going to make the video because I didn't want to be too spoilery for people who haven't seen any of the Saw films. But I have been a fan of the Saw franchise since the first film came out way back in 2004. And there are many people who believe that the first Saw film is the only good Saw film in the entire franchise, but I disagree. Sure, the original Saw film is the greatest Saw film in the franchise, but it is also one of the greatest mainstream horror films to come out in the past 20 years, in my opinion. And for having a budget of barely a million dollars and only filming over the course of 18 days, that is incredibly high praise. The first Saw film pulled in 18 million dollars on its first weekend and then 103 million worldwide. Spawning eight films in the franchise thus far, it even gained the tagline, if it's Halloween, it must be Saw. If you've never seen any movie in the Saw franchise, you probably think that people only watch it for the blood and the gore and the torture traps, and that's only partially true, marg marginally true. Sure, there are moments of gore, but the films are more thriller than they are violent violent blood fest. I mean, they are violent blood fest, but there's actual narrative, there's actual lore. The Jigsaw Killer has a philosophy, an ideology, he's a teacher, he's a prophet. It's more than just killing and torture, it's a sequence of events to have a person admit their guilt and then appreciate their lives. I love it when horror franchises have an actual narrative, that they have lore built up behind the story. That's what attracted me to Five Nights at Freddy's, and that's what Saw does quite well. Sometimes a franchise sequel will seem forced and unnecessary, but in the Saw franchise, almost every story is interconnected with another story, like a puzzle piece. Between the timeline of the events and the flashbacks to previous games, the twists, the turns, the fakeouts, the surprising reveals, the subsequent Saw sequels don't usually disappoint in that regard. When creating the first film, they obviously didn't know the amount of lore that they would soon be spinning around this series of games. But each sequel is connected to another film in the franchise franchise, not just the film that precedes it. The new film Jigsaw even makes some connections to the first film, giving you some understanding on how certain things came to be. Back when the fifth Saw movie came out, I made my buddy Pat watch the first four before going to see the fifth one in the theaters, and yes, I had him watch all four of them in one night. He was not too happy with me. But I also have my buddy Ryan, who every year around Halloween time will watch the entire Saw series. And then this year, he got to go see Jigsaw in the theaters after finishing his binge. So why do so many people find these Saw films entertaining when it's not just blood and gore? Well, the way I see it, it's partially because you can't really look away, but you also don't want to, because in the back of your mind, you're wondering what you would do in these specific situations. And then you find out what you want to believe that you would be able to do in these situations, and it kind of spurs some very interesting thoughts. But like I said, I enjoyed Jigsaw, I'm glad I went to go see it, and it adds on to the lore rather nicely. If you're not a fan of the Saw franchise, Jigsaw probably won't change your mind, but if you are like me and you enjoy the lore and the story that they've been building on, then yeah, you're you're really gonna like Jigsaw. In the comments down below, let me know your favorite horror series. It could be a series of films, of books, of video games. Let me know what you enjoy being scared by. As always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.